Hello and welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. This channel is all about planning, budgeting, paying off debt, and hopefully one day retiring early. So if those are topics that you are also interested in, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay guys, it is time for me to set up my October pages and my new plum paper planner, which I'm using for um, content. I am just absolutely in love with this planner. I cannot wait to set it up. Funny story, when I unboxed this, I said that it was going to be highly functional, and it is, and that I'd probably not use any stickers. Well, that was a big, huge, fat lie. <laughs> I am a sticker addict for sure, and I have I pulled out a ton of stickers to use in the planner today, so... Let's jump in and plan my content for October. So I'm going to start on this, actually, this fir first page here. It says, this planner belongs to, and then there are two lines. I'm going to put um, a couple of stickers there before we get started. I have, I made these a while ago. These are just, these are not available in my Etsy shop. They're just custom stickers I made for myself. So I'm going to lay down my name and I'm going to lay down my Instagram handle, which is at Life and Envelopes. And that's what it looks like. Ooh, it's nice. Okay. So let's jump to October. I decided I'm not going to use these two pages. So I'm going to attempt to glue them together. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so for this, I'm just using crafter's tape that I got from Hobby Lobby. Now, I've done this with my Erin Condren planners plenty of times, but the paper was very different. So this is super slick. The paper is also pretty slick, too. Not as slick as this. So let's see how well they glue together. Oh, perfect. Sticking together perfectly. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Good start. Now, this is not currently available in my Etsy shop, but if um, <clears throat> after I use it today, if I like it, I might add it to my next release. Probably not in this pattern because this is a pattern that I had out for I have out for September. Or wait, no, <clears throat> sorry, this is a pattern I have out for October, and it might be retired by the time I do my next sticker release. We'll see. But um, so what I did is I made headers. So here it's kind of hard to see. So let me bring you closer. Here it says October. So I made a header that says October in the same um, dimensions, the same size to fit here. And then this side, it had the date. So I made a sticker for that. So I've got my October and then I have my date. So the, that's what the first page looks like, which is the monthly view. And then for my lined pages, I just made sets that say October because on these pages, that's all it says. It says October, October. So I am going to get all of this set up and I will speed this part up for you and play some nice music and I will be back with you in a few seconds. Okay, so now that I've done this, um, a couple of changes I'm going to make is on these pages. They, so I made the, the width as wide as the calendar here, and it's perfect for the, these first two pages, but on these pages, the line that goes across the top is just a little bit longer than that. So these need to be a little bit longer. I'm just gonna quickly flip through to show you what it looks like. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm, I love it. Love, love, love. So pretty. Um, I did have to peel up a couple that I laid down that were misaligned and they peeled up no problem. The stickers in my shop are matte removable stickers um, and I had no problems at all with it peeling up and didn't tear the paper or anything. I've, I've heard that, it, that it, sometimes on plum paper planners that happens, but that did not happen today. One thing I might change also, is I might add like date, I mean not date, like days, day headers here. Uh, I'm going to think about that. Okay, 
so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down all of my videos that I want to do for the month of October. I think for this part I'm going to do um, the first half of the week and then the second half of the week. That way I can zoom you in because I feel like you guys are very far away. <laughs> so let's zoom you in. Okay, so what I'm going to do on the monthly spread is I'm going to put down the video on the videos for the days that they're going to come out. So Mondays are the days that my plan with me videos come out and this is the sticker that I use for that. So I'm going to lay this down on all of my Mondays. So these stickers were originally designed to fit the EC Life Planner, the vertical, and they also fit this planner perfectly. I did not have to make new stickers so that is super exciting let's see um i don't even need to wipe that out i don't think well maybe i do need to wipe that out it sticks out a little bit okay white out works beautifully on the plum paper oops okay it's a little crooked so i'm going to adjust it let's see how Yep, I was able to peel it up, no problem. Need to grab another sheet from the back. This one is used up. <laughs> okay, on Tuesdays, I do my weekly check-in. That's for my budget. I do a weekly check-in on my budget. We see how all of the expenses are going. Okay, then I also upload on Saturdays, and that changes week to week, so let's get that set up next. Okay, this first Saturday will be a cash envelope stuffing video, and my next cash envelope stuffing will happen on the tool this week. Let's see. Yeah, it won't happen until the 24th usually every other week so this is just there's five Saturdays in this month so um, it changes my <laughs> schedule a little bit so the second week second Saturday is when I usually do my debt snowball update and we make this is crooked let me fix this yes again no problem peeling it up and resticking it okay so second week is when, second Saturday is when I do my debt snowball update. And then the third Saturday is usually when I do my next cash envelope stuffing. But we have five weeks, so that's not going to happen until the 24th. So I'm going to do a bonus video on the 17th. I have so many video ideas, so many videos I want to make that that's no problem at all. Um, <clears throat> so these are not currently available in my Etsy shop. The black and white versions of these are, but for this planning today. I, I added a little bit of color, a very subtle color. I don't know if you can tell, it's like kind of like a tan there and a very light greenish blue um, because I wanted, I just wanted it to stick out a little bit on my planner. So I just wanted to see what that would look like. Okay. And then the last week, Saturday of the month is when I set up my budget for the upcoming month. So that is my normal YouTube schedule, but I do like to make a bonus video once a week of just various content that I want to bring to you. So um, I usually do that on Wednesdays or Thursdays. I think I'm going to start doing it on Thursdays because I already share a video on Mondays and Tuesdays con consistently. So that spreads it out a little bit. Okay, I am loving the way this looks. Oh, this is so nice. I wonder if I need to move something around, like in a couple days, if I'll be able to peel it up and move it. If I can, that will be awesome. It's part of the reason why I like using stickers instead of writing is because I can move things around. Let's look at this week. So what I'm planning on doing to set up the week is I'm going to have this side, I'm going to do my film, edit, and upload checklist. And over here, I'm just going to reserve this page for notes. So let's set up the film, edit, and upload checklist.
So looking back at my week here, I'm going to do a plan with me, weekly check-in, a bonus video, and cash envelope stuffing this week. So I'm going to get those stickers laid down. So we've got plan with me, weekly check-in. For my bonus video, um, that's the video you're watching right now. Let's see, what should I call this? Content planning? I don't have a sticker for this. Yeah, I think I'll just call this content planning. And then... Saturday will be my cash envelope stuffing video. Okay, I'm just going to fill that in for the rest of the week here. Okay, so I ended up spreading it out a little bit more in the next two columns because I could see more easily how I could do that. I should do that. <laughs> so next two columns look nicer than the first, my first attempt. Um, a couple things. I probably should have used check boxes. So I'll probably do that next week when I do this. And uh, so this is my first time using a pen on this planner. I was worried about how slick the pages are. I used a Sharpie S Gel 1.0 and it worked beautifully. It didn't smear at all. Um, also, when I got to the edge here, the coil is nice and small, so it was much easier to write and lay down stickers over here. And the Erin Condren, this is bigger, so it's, it just makes it more difficult. Um, one last thing I think I'm going to do. Okay, one last thing I'm going to do before I go is I don't like I want to have one more like color here under film, edit, and upload. So I grabbed my thin washi add-on kit from my Shabby Chic um, line that's available on my Etsy shop. So I'm going to lay that down. Let's see. Let's do... I'm going to do this green one here. Okay, so that's what my weekly spread looks like. So there I have my to, my to-do list on that side and the other side is going to be reserved for notes. And then I have plenty of room to add more videos if I want to make more videos this week. So that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you all again next time. Bye everyone.